Hey, what's going on there guys? You've officially arrived at the 420 scene and today we're gonna to be talking about the 48 hours of darkness that so many of you guys have been asking questions about, whether it's real, whether it's just a bunch of BS. But first, show us some love and support by watching the entire video, dropping a like, subscribing, and tapping the post notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Also, be sure to join our VIP Patreon program for tips, monthly giveaways, live streams, all that good stuff. Link will be in the description below. And hey, we just gave away the TS6 LED light and we give beans away every month so definitely check that out and also don't forget if you want to come and sesh with us check out our grows and just chill with us follow us on Instagram link to that will also be in the description below so the last few weeks I've been getting a lot of questions from people on Instagram and even in the comment section about the 48 hours of darkness or even 36 hours of darkness but you get the point and those of you who thought I ran out of content saying I ran out of content you were saying? Seems like a lot of you guys are near harvesting time, which makes a lot of sense, of course, if you're growing outside. But even if you're growing outside, the real question is if the 48 hours of darkness actually does anything good for your plants. I was definitely curious whether the 48 hours of darkness was a thing or if it was what everybody just calls bro science. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with bro science, contrary to what everybody says, because if it wasn't for something like bro science, now think about this for a minute, right? Nobody would even bother or dabble with experimentation. And I think that adds to the fun with what we do here in the horticulture world. I mean, come on, who doesn't like to experiment? Maybe you experimented with something you haven't tried before and it works out for you. And some people are gonna say, oh, it doesn't work, but it works out for you. But guess what? Keep doing what you're doing, right? I actually ran an experiment with both the Skittles series and the GDP series and of course, the blue cheese series. The Skittle series, I didn't do the 48 hours of darkness, but I did do 36 hours of darkness in the GDP series. And one question that you probably have is, well, did it do anything? Now let's talk about the Skittle series and what I did. I feel like it wasn't all that frosty to begin with. It was absolutely great, even though it didn't look as good as a lot of my other plants. Potency was still pretty high. And at the end of the day, I feel like it was still pretty decent. Now with the GDP series, there was, I mean, frost, right away off the bat and we did do the 10 to 14 day flush with cold water so we had a lot of nice colors on the GDP and it was somewhat purple but the purple hues didn't really get crazy noticeable until maybe after curing for a few weeks and then it got like crazy purple okay so before the 48 hours of darkness Actually, it was 36 hours of darkness, so maybe a day and a half or so. And we still had a lot of frost on our plants, but after the 36 hours of darkness, it was extremely noticeable. It was like night and day. I mean, there was so much frost, you couldn't even find the spot where there wasn't any frost. It was like frost on top of frost, you know? Like, that's literally what it was. But you get what I'm trying to say. I think if you have at least the 36 hours of darkness, it really will make a difference, and it's not a waste of time, and it's not a bunch of Yes, I know some people are gonna say, oh, oh, it's a bunch of crap, you know? I think if you spend three or four months growing your plants, what's another two days or even a day and a half to wait with no lights off? Especially if you can boost trichome production. I say just go for it. I mean, just think about it. What do you have to lose at this point, right? Now, a few months back, I think maybe it was a half a year ago, I made a video talking about boosting trichome production, and I discussed pretty heavily on the 40 hours of darkness, but I never came out with a video specifically talking about it, which is why I wanted to come out with this video. Now, let's talk about the idea behind why 48 hours of darkness is actually important. Trichomes are a natural defense mechanism to defend your plants against harmful lights, but it also acts like a deterrent for bugs. I also came out with a video talking about this as well. I think that was like a few months ago or something like that. Now what you're actually doing by giving them 48 hours of darkness is you're pretty much giving them shock therapy and your plants are forced to make that, that final last ditch effort in producing extra trichomes as a defense mechanism. And if you've ever overstressed your plant and all of a sudden they're spitting out seeds, it's kind of like the same thing in the sense that you're forcing your plants to take drastic measures to preserve themselves in some kind of capacity. When you're plants pop out seeds in their flowers, they're I like to refer them as emergency seeds or emergency seeds. At least that's what I like to call them. So in that sense, it's pretty similar to when you give them a period of darkness or even when you're ice flushing, which is also another thing that I recommend you guys doing if you wanna see a lot of colors in your flowers. 
but we'll talk about that another time. Of course, there are going to be people that think that it's bro science or whatever, but then again, anything could really be considered bro science, I think, you know, as far as experimentation goes. You know, I like that word. Bro science is pretty much experimentation that works out for you, but people are kind of sketch about it. That's really what, when I think of bro science, that's literally what I think of. But the 36 hours of darkness worked out for me, and just try it out if you haven't tried it out. I also did 36 hours of darkness on the blue cheese, like I did mention earlier, and the same thing pretty much happened. So it wasn't like, oh, you know, oh, I got all that frost, just one plant, every strain is different. I got it on the blue cheese as well. So uh, I'm gonna try it on the next series that we do with the Purple Frost Giant. We're gonna have some Girl Scout cookies. We're not doing the bathroom grow anymore. I know I mentioned it in another video that we're done with the bathroom grow. So we're gonna try to be running a four by four foot tent. So kind of giving you an update on what to expect like in the coming months. But anyway, like I was saying, I got a crazy amount of frost after the 36 hours and it's pretty much covering everything. So trust me, I understand where some of you guys are coming from, that it's pretty sketch and some people don't really believe in the 40 hours of darkness rule, but I've been there too. Like why should 40 hours of complete darkness do anything for your plants? Why wait another two days when I could be drying for those two days? But even if you're curious about it, what do you have to lose at this point? Like I said earlier, you grew for this long, is another two days really gonna kill you? Now there could be a problem, an issue with doing the 48 hours of darkness and this is more for the beginner grower or somebody growing in not the greatest environments and you have to consider this, okay? You are gonna be adding stress to your plants. So if you've had a lot of deficiencies and you've been struggling throughout your entire grow, whether it's your fault or not, doesn't matter, I'm not pinning this on anybody. That that's the only time that I would suggest not doing the 48 hours of darkness, only because you don't know how much is too much stress on your plants. And if you're confident that you've done like a killer job and you haven't really had too many issues and your plants have just been growing really nicely, your colors have been looking good, you haven't had to fix any deficiencies, you haven't had any root rot, you haven't had a lot of nutrient burn, you haven't had anything wrong, heat issues, light issues, then you know what? That's when I would recommend doing the 48 hours. So just keep in mind that I would not recommend the 48 hours of darkness if your plants are already stressed out beyond belief. Me personally, I never had any issues issues with 48 hours of darkness where I overstress the plant. I always try to use common sense, you know, like it makes sense, you know, your plants are not getting any light, they're in panic mode, what's going on here? So if you're running plants that you haven't had any issues with, then why not, right? So I generally would not do this if my plants were overstressed and I know sometimes it's gonna be my fault, sometimes it's not gonna be my fault. Everything lies in genetics and your environment and there's just a lot of variables involved. So just kind of keep that in mind when you're growing. All right guys, so I feel like we covered as much as we could about the 48 hours of darkness. It's not a topic that I have a crazy amount of stuff to talk about, but it was something that a lot of you guys had questions with and you were asking my opinion. I'm totally all for the 48 hours of darkness. That like 420 steam totally approves that, you know what I mean? So before we close off today's video, I wanna thank everyone on screen for supporting us on Patreon since February. I really appreciate the support, guys. So I'm gonna close off today's video. Please drop a fat thumbs up, drop that fat like, and subscribe for more content, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. And as always, stay safe. Peace.